Hello friends, are you suffering from red tongue, puffy tongue, swollen or just strawberry kind of tongue? Are you having some mouth ulcers, your tongue is blue or it's yellow or it is having some cracked fissure, the tip seems to be red. Oh my god, so many symptoms. What is it? If you have any of this and you want to know how can this signs be an early indication of the diseases of your digestive tract? Then you are watching the right video. I am Dr. Mansi Shah and today we are going to speak about the oral signs which are indicating your digestive diseases. Subscribe to my channel and get information on dental health and diseases. Hello and a very happy morning to all of you. Here you are on my show Monday mornings with Mansi and my YouTube channel Dr. Mansi Shah. Friends, Today we are going to speak about that warning signs which your oral cavity easily shows up but you neglect it and these are the warning signs which is related to your digestive system. So come let us have a look at this video in which and how are we going to judge our digestive system from our oral cavity. The most and the common one that we can see is the first mouth ulcers or bumps in the mouth. Now, mouth ulcers can be related to a various things but the most prominent one why we get mouth ulcers is because of the poor digestive system. You can easily relate it that if you have a stomach upset, if you are not able to properly pass down that stool in the morning, you might just have a small bump or difficulty in uh, swallowing your food because of some inflammation that is present at the back side or the corners of your tongue. So this bumps or inflammation is related to a poor digestive system. Bloating can be one of this. Now the second one that we are going to move further ahead with is acid reflux. Acidity? Yes, many of you like almost 80% of you can have this problem. And how is this acidity detected in the mouth? The first thing is that why you get acidity is you dump in some food which is not acceptable and a lot of acid is being secreted. The acid which has been secreted before it gives any inflammation inside your stomach, it first gives a regurgitation of the acidity. And where is this acidity felt? Right on your tongue. You can many times feel this regurgitation present on your tongue. Then there is erosion of the teeth that is seen. Yes, do you know that severe acidity and reflux of this acidity can cause teeth erosion? What is this teeth erosion? Is it is depletation or datonka gis jana in Hindi, what we call it as, and this depletation or reduction in the enamel coating of the teeth is nothing but erosion. Because of this erosion, you can have or you need to do dental fillings, and if you keep on neglecting it and your all teeth get eroded, then you might have to go for root canals and caps and a lot of things. So if you have acidity or having acidity regurgitation then make sure that you visit your dentist also and a general physician or a gastrointestinal specialist who can help you combat that acidity. The next one is the vegetarians, yes the B12 vitamin and the folic acid. The B12 and the folic acid this can easily lead to strawberry red tongue. Your tongue literally looks like red puffed up swollen strawberry. Yes, and this vitamin B12 and folic acid, if it falls down, then your symptom is rightly seen. So this was the warning sign number three. Now number fourth is thick patches on the tongue. Thick coating which is not easily removable. Yes, that's the reason I have made the last video which says how to and why to scrape your tongue. Do you clean your tongue? And after cleaning your tongue also, there is some thickening which is present on the tongue and is not going. Then friends, you should definitely visit your dentist and also your general physician. Because this thickening and coating is indicating a gut issue. The gut may be, uh, for example, if we say candida albicans. What is this candida albicans? You don't have to really worry about it. But yes, it can be treated by proper probiotics and with the right amount of intake of nutrients. Then the next one is an inflammatory bowel disease. Oh my god, what is this? 
Okay, inflammatory is inflammation, redness, swelling, bowel is your stomach and in the stomach, the lining of your stomach and your intestine, that gets inflamed, that has some redness and swelling. When you have this inflammatory bowel disease, then your tongue can easily show, uh, then your tongue and lips can easily show up the symptoms. You know what, that there has been a study in which 1 to 8% of the people suffering from Crohn's disease. This Crohn's disease, it runs parallel. That is, your lips are showing inflammation, your intestine is showing an inflammation. Your lips are showing in swelling, similarly a swelling. Your lips are showing some fissures or tongue is showing some fissure. Similarly, fissures are seen in your intestine. So, it runs very much parallel. So, this indication which you should not neglect is uh, a warning sign on how can you relate your intestinal diseases or your bowel diseases and relate it to your tongue. Friends, your tongue is a mirror of your digestive tract. Do not neglect the signs which your body is showing up. So friends, the next warning sign is a red uh, tip of the tongue. That is the whole tongue is pink and it is in its normal health. But only the tip of the tongue is red. Why is this so? If you are a frequent coffee uh, drinker, alcohol drinker or a tea drinker, then this can happen in your uh, in your condition. This is indicating that yes, you should stop this habit because there is an overdose of something which is unwanted. And the most important thing is if you are undergoing some psychological stress. Friends, this stress leads to or generates a lot of heat in the body. And that's the reason your tongue tip goes red. Then next is malabsorption, that is decreased in the nutrients. Like I said, B12 and vitamin, folic acid, your tongue will be puffed up. And also because of the tongue being puffed up, your teeth will leave some marks on it. There is no as such treatment required for this teeth marks, but there is definitely a treatment required for regarding your nutrients. The sign is a yellow lip, oral mucosa and tongue. This is definitely related to, yes, Yes, you are right. The jaundice. As you know, in jaundice, the, there is yellowing of the nail beds. But also, your tongue and your oral mucosa can show this yellow discoloration because of the bipigments which have been broken down. And this is indication of jaundice. Your mouth is said to have and give an early indication of this jaundice disease. And the last one is a very thin tongue, dryness. And your tongue cannot swallow properly or eat uh, or the food, whatever you eat, seems to be very much spicy. What is it? A clear indication of dehydration. When your uh, body fluids go down, your tongue becomes super dry and it cannot eat or swallow the food properly. The food that you eat seems to be very much spicy and gives a little bitter or a tasteless food. So, Make sure you drink a lot of water and keep yourself hydrated. So friends, this was a, qu a quick and a short video on how can your oral signs and symptoms indicate a disease which is undergoing inside your digestive tract or how can your stomach upset be easily seen and indicated on your mouth. So make sure you eat right, eat healthy, consume a lot of water, take right nutrients and visit your dentist or your physician. Take a good consultation for the required disease and get treated in the right time. Do not forget to like, comment if you have anything related to this video or if you have any questions related to dentistry. I am Dr. Mansi Shah, your oral health consultant and a practicing dentist. Friends, do not forget to subscribe this channel, Dr. Mansi Shah. Please click the share button and make your friends aware about the signs which your tongue gives. I have been talking about this tongue, an important muscle in your body, since a quite long time. You must have definitely understood the importance of this tongue. Make sure that you keep it clean. Watch my past Monday video on how to keep your this cute small little muscle clean. I wish you all a very happy and a healthy smile. I am your signing off today. So stay healthy, stay happy and stay out of it. Thank you.